everybody, it's Ghost, and welcome to Monster Hunter's Generation, the demo. So the game actually comes out in middle of July, I think it's the 15th, but this is the demo that we picked up on the, I think it was the E3 Humble Bundle. Um, so Nitz, Holy, Special, and I will be playing this. And for right now, I'm going to be doing the solo play tutorial. But before I do that, I gotta show you this intro movie. It looks pretty damn amazing. Alright, so we're back. So what I'm gonna be doing first is doing the offline play single player tutorial. Um, wait, I think I clicked the wrong one. Wait, is the selected one the bright? No, the selected one is the dull one. Oops. <laughs> tutorial. So I've never actually played a Monster Hunter game before, many of you may not have as well, so I figured we'd go over the tutorial, I'd learn the basics, you'd learn the basics, and that way you can kind of follow along as all the crazy, you know, mid-air dragon fighting stuff is going on. <laughs> Alright, Hunter Basics. Wow. So slaying isn't even the basics. A well-done steak. Well, at least it starts with lunch. I always like it when they uh, start job training with lunch. It's dinner time, and then the tab is on you. And I'm feeling in the mood for some barbecue. Hunt a Laranoth? Uh-oh. I didn't read the whole quest. Well, at least I know what I'm supposed to be hunting. But I don't... I think there was a description of it following that. Okay, we've got some boxes. All right. Living the Hunter's Life. Hey, it's me, you know, the world's greatest hunting instructor. Never heard of you. Today I'm going to teach you just what it takes to be a hunter. It ain't going to be easy, but you'll thank me later, and rightly so. Wow, that's the spirit. You push that right arrow D-pad button all, you know, with tons of spirit. I think you just might turn out all right after all. You don't look too shabby in those old duds I gave you anyway. Or either. Make sure you treat them well. Your equipment can decide whether you live or die before you even start a hunt. Well, it's a good thing I like crafting, then. Now, I'm sure you're anxious to get started in your training. First, let me introduce you to the base camp. No monster ever comes this far, so it's a perfect place to kick back and take a load off. Walks three steps, gets eaten by dragon. Best game ever. <laughs> get moving with the circle pad and control your view with the L button. All right. Move around and look around with control pad. Okay. Okay. Check the blue box. Pack with supplies! Yes, free loot. Toddle over to that box? Alright, let me, uh, let me see about toddling. Can I... There we go. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, this looks like toddling. Just, just kind of... Yep. Do, 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 do. Alright. I was walking stupidly on purpose, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> This charming looks right here. Supply box comes chock full of items sent by the guild, so you know it's good for you. You'll always check to see what freebies you can use each quest. Alright, so cool. We get free items every quest. What do I get? Oh. Then in front of the box, press A. Take whatever you want to, free of charge. Let me shine now. Take anything you think you'll need. Alright. So, complete field map that shows the terrain. That looks good. Restores a small amount of health. Restores a small amount of stamina. Alright, so potions are health. Food, stamina. Restore sharpness to weapons. And portable spit issued to new hunters. Get cooking. Alright. Taking it all. Examine the snot out of that supply box. Shut up, I took my time. I'm learning the game. Now, if you grabbed all you could out of it, like I told you, then it means you should have picked up a map. Only way to see the whole region. Pros might you can skip picking them up, but for rookie, I don't think I'm ever going to skip picking up the map. You see the little triangle on the map? That's the location. Arrow moves around and even face the direction you are. Pretty impossible to get lost no matter how hard you try. You do not know me, sir. <laughs> um, start. Okay, and then Y is zoom. The hunter stumbles that run fast. Want to know how to learn? use all your other items, too? Who said that anyway? Anyway, let's just keep your leggings on and I'll explain it all in due time. 
One big thing to teach you before I let loose. You know how you open up the start menu, flashing column says advice. You can check at any time to review any UI's teachings I've imparted during your quest. Alright. So we've got a map. Uh, we got hunter search. We got help. We got round force one. Alright. So what else we got around here? Uh, nothing else can go as warm as a bed. Stand in front of it and press A. You'll fall in deeper, like in slumber. Uh huh. Sleeping will fill your health, but also cure you of any ailments like poison paralysis or whatever. When a guest gets a, gets to be a little too much, drop by for a second to snooze. All right. I want to take things consecutively or hell, even if you don't want a good cry yourself. It's fine too. I won't judge. Well, thank you. If you need a little R and R, no matter what your reason is, the they'll go further. Free to use as much as needed. All right. We're learning. Can I change my... There we go. Then there's some, like, books and stuff. What's in the red chest? Main objective, well done. Oh, I have to... Okay, so green is pick... Or blue is pick up, and red is what I need to do. So I need to go cook a steak. Alright, so do we have weapons? That is crouch. Hey, we have a weapon! I have... What is that, like, guard? Yeah, it looks like guard. No, don't put your damn weapon away. Alright, so we got some different combos. We got a roll. Oh yeah, combat roll. Going into area one. Oh, they look like... Very... Odd-looking dinosaurs. It's a monster right there. You're gonna have to go and uh, introduce yourself to it. Before you do, let me impart one of the hundred of his most famous sayings. Hunters, no, no hurry, no, no haste. Of course, every rule has exceptions, so does this one. The fact that we live in a fast-paced world filled with fast-paced monsters, need to dash to go on top. Just hold... wait. Hunters, no, no hurry, no, no haste. Alright, whatever. Alright, so dash is the R button. Okay. But you have to put away your weapon first. Got it. I don't think you can run the ends of the earth. Your stamina has a limit. Yellow bar up top is their stamina gauge. Alright. Dreaming perform actions take a lot of energy like dashing. If you take it easy for a bit, it'll refill. If you go too hard and drain it all the way, you'll get exhausted. You'll be unable to dash perform other actions. Got it. Time passes, your maximum stamina will start to fall. Oh. Sign you're getting hungry. Alright. Keep meat and other food items on hand. So you can get you can eat. All right. Catching is important because it makes your hunt go that much faster. All right. Start by dashing to that, that monster and getting nice and personal with it. Uh, put my weapon away. Weapon away. Hi, I'm Ghost. Hello. Okay, I've made it, made it to the monster. Got your sword and shield. Press the X button, so that's how you unsheath your weapon. Sheath again by tapping Y. I don't know why it's two different buttons to draw and sheath your weapon. Wouldn't that have been simpler to be one button? Attack monsters with the X and A button. Depending on the order you press those two buttons, you'll do all sorts of different attacks. Alright. I just made a monster take your attacks lying down. That's what makes green health bar up top so vital. It's your health gauge, okay? Every herbivore sense danger, it'll run away, but not every monster is like that. You'll definitely want to... Alright. Either L button, or the control pad to face them with your camera, help you aim your attacks. Alright, hunting season starts now. Wow. That was... it didn't even last through a combo. Not bad for someone who didn't even know how to open the supply box a while ago. Quest isn't over yet. You still have some carving to do. Carving can provide you with everything you'll ever need as a hunter. You stand by a monster you've slain. Press the A button. You'll carve materials out of it. I can loot the monsters. Have to live off all sorts of monster materials. So don't be afraid to take all that you need. Be sure to sheath your weapon first. I'm going to get lucky and find monsters that you can carve from more than once. Looks like the one you can be carved from a second time. All right. Have I pissed off its friends, or are they running away? Okay. 
put the weapon away. Weapon away. What goodies do I get? Raw meat. Fine carving. Your objective is done well done steak. Raw meat's not going to do any good. You gotta cook it and turn it into well done. Obviously. Alright, so we need the portable spit from the supply box. Press L to bring up item bar, and then you select the portable spit. Then release the L button and press the Y button to use it. Alright. Might be a little while before you get used to picking up items this way. Once you do, you'll find out you can manage it even on the move. Alright. Now we can loot it twice, so let's loot it twice. Extra raw meat. Huzzah. Alright, portable spit. It was... this thing. Let's get out of the water. Never good to cook meat when it's soggy. There we are. You can eat, try your hand at cooking meat. You can't eat raw meat, but you, what you can do is put it on the fire for a bit to turn it to nice, delectable, well-done steak in just seconds. Alright. Use the portable spit. Meet in your inventory, and a catchy little jingle will start playing. Cue to start the cooking process. Oh, there's a process to it. Time is everything at stage. When the music ends and your meat changes color, quickly press the A button to lift your meat off the fire. If you time it really well, you get a well-done steak. If you pull it out too early or too late, you'll end up with a rare steak or burnt meat. Worst case scenario, you'll have wished you never cooked it at all. So time it well and take your meat off the fire at just the right moment to gain a well-done steak. Mm, so tasty. Yay, we made it on our first try. Alright, so that would refill stamina. Taking that portable spit back. Aww. I wanted it. That's a good piece of loot. I <laughs> first, just hold on to it and make your way back to base camp. I do not, I repeat, do not eat it. But I want to. He didn't take it back at all. Haha, I'm cooking one for myself. Ah, oh, rare steak. Lame. Well, I'm gonna eat the rare one. Uh, wrong button. Yum! Yay! I feel full. Huzzah! Alright. Red box. This is delivery box. Gotcha. Stand in front of it, press A button, deliver it. You need to deliver a well done steak, which you conveniently have. If you're a good hunter and didn't eat it on your way back to the base camp. Because <laughs> we weren't trying to do that at all. Press the A button to deliver the well done steak. If you want to try looking at your item pass, press the A button, select an item you're supposed to deliver. Uh huh. You can specify how many, how many of each item to deliver. Alright. Well then, steak delivered. Huzzah! We have delivered steak. Once you meet the clear conditions for a quest, it's time to pack up and head back home for a day. Just wait a little bit and you'll be able to make some nice items and a little money as your reward. Is that the next round of training? Alright, cool. Um, shit, how do I leave? Oh, there we are. <laughs> This might seem pretty basic, but, you know, I'm kind of glad I learned it. Oh, thank you for playing. Oh, wait. No, I already purchased the game. I want to I wanna learn lesson two of the tutorial. <laughs> thank you very much. Slaying. Slay a great Macau. Oh, wow, there's a lot of tutorials. Today's my day, you can have great Macau. Failure is literally not an option, at least not if you're accustomed to having all your body parts. Show me what it takes, you've got what it takes to be a great hunter. Alright, slay yourself a real live monster. Defeat the monster designated as your target. Mm-hmm. 
And once you take it out, you can carve all sorts of materials out of it for fun and profit. Gotcha. You'll see an option labeled Abandon Quests. Um, if you absolutely have to, or if you're a wimp. Alright, won't be using that. Quit me prematurely. Return to whatever state you were in before embarking on the quest, meaning you'll forfeit any items you picked up during the quest, but you'll also won't recover any items you used. So we time travel. Ooh. Free loot. Supply box that take down large monsters. All right. Not was even a single one left in the box. You can throw in a primer on how to use the items. Okay. What good is hoarding them if you're just gonna sit in your item pouch and do nothing? I mean, it's loot. Feels good to have loot. <laughs> oh dear god. That is a lot of stuff. Alright, what do we got? Small time bomb. Powerful bomb triggered by external physical impact. Flashes brightly on impact. Toss it this right under a monster's nose to blind it. Complete field map shows terrain. Immobilizes a target. And trapped, tripped by heavy weight. Taking it all. Oh, that is... that is a complex map. Hello, things! I'm not here to hunt you for your meat today. You know what, just in, just for safety, I'm not going to put anything equipped to that, because I still haven't distinguished the buttons from each other yet. Wait, can I? Why am I not running? There we go. Alright, so we got to go from 6 to 5, which means we go that way. Oh, cool, so even just normal running will let you, uh... Oh, hello. What the... We'll let you regain your stamina. All right. We got a time limit. All kinds of fun stuff. All right. Now that we're getting closer, let's equip our item. So let's do barrel bomb. All right. So it's apparent. All right. Great Macau. Red body, green face. No doubt about it. Once you have to slay for this quest, it's on a whole other level compared to the other monsters. So exercise extreme caution and then some while dealing with it. All right, spotted me, fight special on. You can tell when the monster knows you're around based on the icon next to your name on the screen. If there's an eye icon there, you're being watched. Okay, that's a yellow thing. Don't be reckless while that's going on. Red is if they spotted you, yellow is if he's on alert. Once you're spotted, there's no turning back. Teach you how to make use of target cam. Set the target cam panel on the touch screen beforehand. Um, keep it. Yeah, okay, it was a great invention of ours because it keeps you facing towards a large foe in the same area as you. Just make sure that if you're going to use it, so you set the touch screen cam panel the screen beforehand. Monster icon will appear on the touch screen. If you touch it, you'll enable target cam. All right. Press L button, to focus, or twice in quick succession to orient your camera in the direction you're facing. All right. What happened? Oh, I walked out the door. Whoops. My bad. There we go. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's take out our sword. Ow. Handling pretty well for Rookie. I took one shot, I dealt one. So you can just really well let you an advanced technique called mounting. Useful if you're going to explain. Okay. Getting on top of a monster, taking it by the horns and pinning it to submission. Alright. How do you do it? Use mounting to make them topple over. Suddenly you have the real monster in battle. Okay. Land a jumping attack on the monster. You can't just do that anywhere. Spot you have to hit varies for every monster. Generally speaking, when in doubt, backside. Alright, so X button in midair to pull off a jumping attack. Dash off electric left to get airborne. Use the momentum to take a good jump. 
All right. Um, is this gonna be a big enough ledge? Hey, buddy. Why don't you come over here? Come across a small step in your travel say, not to worry, as long as you walk or run a ledge without stopping, you can climb over them. Oh. Press the X button while jumping, you can attack in midair, too. Oh, I need to put my sword away. Look at that, I can climb right up. Alright, that's convenient. Whoa, kangaroo man. He's right up on off of that. All right, here we go. Oh, come on. Wasn't dashing. Ah! Run away. All right, there's our jump attack. Now we just actually have to land the hit. Now put your damn sword back away. I'm really bad at this. Oh, come on. This is really hard for a tutorial. Oh, you're gonna be like that? I'm gonna go to this ledge over here. Ow! Fucking yeah. You know, I probably would have killed this thing if I just attacked it normally. Cliff for me, buddy. Oh no, you just broke that poor man's tent. All right, there you are. Got my sprint on. Let's do this, bitch. Ah! I am the worst. Why can't put your sword away be the same button? For fuck's sake. Just run away. It's just ran away. I am really bad at this. So, a great and wise teacher, what happens when he runs to an area that's flat? Is this a ledge? That's a dead enemy. There are no ledges here. You know what? Fuck it. Have a barrel bomb, you bastard. Oh, okay. That's not cool. There we go. Oh, okay. He's afraid of them. Well, I just wasted all of those. That's fantastic. Just pull your damn sword out and kill this thing. Come on, bitch. Ow! Alright, you have a ground pound attack. Noted. Oh, sweet! You get specials that get built up. Yeah, aren't you so happy you decided to run away from me now? Oh, shit. Roll out. Fighting masters, weapon sharpness will increase. We can go down. Alright. If the when the icon looks chipped or flashing red, means your weapon is dull and attacks have lost their edge. Mm. 
God damn it. Oh, don't you get into the... No. Don't you get into the middle of this. I'm getting my ass kicked here. Ow! Fuck! Let me heal, you bastards! God damn it! Fucking... Ugh. Shit, shit, shit! Ah! Run away! Alright. Yeah, stun you, bitch. No, don't... St okay, run to an area with ledges so I can actually practice the tutorial things. Don't laugh at me just because I can't land my attacks. Woo! Getting better at dodging, though. Get the fuck out of here, you stupid random-ass animals. Yikes. Weapon away. Ugh. I like how there was one area with ledges in this entire map. Let's see how you like some special attacks. Round force. Shoryoku, whatever. So you weaken the great deal. When large monsters are worn out, they run off to another area to recover health and stamina, which means your job is to keep them right where they are and finish them. Don't let them get away no matter what. Getting in the way of their path, attacking some more is a great idea. As making them stop dead in their tracks with items and whatnot. No, I don't want to heal. You're getting away that easy. Walked right into my own flash bomb. God damn it. Hey, buddy, you joined me over here. I'd stop putting my damn weapon away and actually attack you. Yeah, keep talking. Oops. Hey, I flash bombed him. And force round. Hey, we got him down. We didn't learn a damn thing from the tutorial because he ran away from all the ledge areas, but... Well. Let's get some items. No, I want to loot it. No, I killed the damn thing. It took forever. I'm going to loot it. Let me loot! Why, Monster Hunter? Why? So many more tutorials.
Weapon styles, hunter arts. Oh my, that is... Okay, this must be just try out different weapons. So what I'm going to be using for the playthrough is going to be probably the dual blades. It's going to be quick, fast attacking weapon. Although there's some kind of crazy stuff. Holy crap. Long range lance. There's the long sword, great sword, sword and shield, hammer. Huh, interesting. Prowler basics. Prowler training the basics. Deliver one piece of raw meat. All right. Understand the basics. It's time to prowl. For stars, take down a lanarith, carve some raw meat from it, then deliver it to base camp. All right. Let me guess, raw meat attracts dragons. Alright. You remind me of my old prowler buddy, especially when you're wearing your old gear for prowler on the hunt equipment, the difference between life and death. It can get your claws and monsters. First, let me introduce your base camp. Monster ever comes this far, so it's perfect. Alright. Oh, shit, I'm a cat. Cat run. All right. So it looks like it's all the same stuff, except I'm a cat. Except you didn't give me anything, cheap ass. Oh, the little kitty dodge. Oh, the cat runs. Oh, it's adorable. It has a stick. Oh, look at the kitty. Oh, and a bone boomerang. All right. So what's the difference between a Prowler and a regular character? I kind of wish I knew. Alright. Secret World of Prowlers. Support biases. Different types of support that Pelicos Prowlers specialize in. You, um, set your bias to Charisma. Boost yourself and your allies while their biases may skill at healing or handle explosives. Oh, so this is like a support class that I won't be playing. You're gonna use the herb orn, restore health to you and your allies. Okay. Hold the L button, bring up support bar. Really support gauge, use support moves. Alright. Moves to use different amounts of support. Basically, the hunting monsters. Even the cat can kill it in one set. Is there a key to crawl right out? Uh huh, yeah. Oh, put your weapon away, then carve it. Well, they carve it quickly, that's for sure. Kitty run! Dun, 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 dun. So other than being adorable, are they functional? Yeah, I know how to deliver, idiot. 
Ta da! Main objective complete. Huzzah! Victory for the cat! Alright, well, it looks like the next time we go in, we'll be uh, still fumbling around with the controls a bit because they're not exactly the most intuitive things in the world. But we will be joining up with Nitz, Special, and Holy, and actually going out on real quests. And so the demo, I think, has three missions that we're going to be playing through, so uh, we'll see you for those.